Alright, Bonehawks, this video is all about everything that we know about Mortal Kombat 1 that's been released today. Uh, I'm just on their updated website here, so you can see that. And we're also going to go through and do some stuff on Twitter that I saw, and then some other stuff. So we're just going to talk about everything in case you haven't been uh, had a chance to kind of be kept in the loop. And that's what I'm trying to do here is give you all the news about Mortal Kombat 1 as it comes out. Mortal Kombat 1 or Mortal Kombat 12? What are we calling it? I think the official game name is Mortal Kombat 1, right? So that makes sense. Anyways, if you're new, subscribe so you don't miss anything. Let's get to it. Accept your death. Alright, so the first thing, I think this is the most recent thing that's been posted, is there will be a community chat tomorrow, May the 19th, at 10 a.m. specific time, 12 p.m. Central, with Ed Boon and Tyler Lansdowne. So I don't, they don't really mention what they're going to cover, but I'm assuming it's probably like a thanks for your patience and maybe a little bit of explanation. I have no idea. So I just want to make sure that uh, you don't, you don't miss it. Do they post where this is happening? I'm assuming this is going to happen on the twitch.tv slash netherrealm, but let me just confirm that real quick. I'm an idiot. It really literally just says like right up there. First tweet below it, twitch.tv slash netherrealm. So yeah, 10 a.m. tomorrow. Tune into that. Hopefully we'll get some more information about the game, but if not, I think maybe they just want to touch base with the community and talk about maybe why it took so long or blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so that's the first thing. Okay, so secondly, we have the different editions. So we have the standard edition. We have the premium edition where you get some dragon crystals and a week of early access to DLC characters, combat pack, that kind of thing. And then you have the collector's edition, which I think you get like a, a kind of a statue of Liu Kang. A uh, whole bunch of dragon crystals, which I'm assuming is like a... I mean, well, I'm not assuming. It says right there in game currency. Um, so yeah. So if you pre-order the game, you do get early access. Instead of the 19th, you'll get to play it on the 14th. So keep that in mind if you want to play it early. Pre-order now. Uh, I'm still not really sure what version I'm going to get. Because I don't even have a PS5 yet. So I'll definitely be getting it for Xbox and probably Switch, I guess. But then I'll have to figure out the PS5 thing. But... Either way, let me know what console you're getting it on. Um, also says on the bottom here, five new cameo characters and Jean-Claude Van Damme skin for Johnny Cage, which is super cool. Super duper cool. Jean-Claude Van Damme. But no, little interesting, though, because from the rumor that I heard, I don't know if there's truth to this. I haven't really bothered to look into it, but apparently Jean-Claude Van Damme was supposed to play Johnny Cage in Mortal Kombat 1. And actually ended up turning that down at the last minute to play in a different game that never even got released. <laughs> so, which, the stories I've heard of him over the years, that sounds like a very on-brand thing for him to do. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of funny if it's true. But if, if you're out there and you know whether it's true or not, let me know. And from there we go into the frequently asked questions, which, like, I don't know how frequently they are because it was literally just announced. But, <laughs> I mean, um, some of this stuff is pretty, uh, pretty, whatever, not that exciting news so I'm kind of just going to go through and pick the parts that I thought were kind of the most uh, kind of stood out to me. So the first one that I saw that kind of got my attention was the platforms that it's going to be available on. It will be available on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, Nintendo Switch, and PC. Now this is important. The PlayStation 4 guys, sorry you left out. Time to upgrade. I'm, I'm right there with you though so I mean womp womp. The Nintendo Switch and PC are not being worked on by NetherRealm directly. Uh, the actual port there is being done by a third party. They have done this in the past, and it does not have a good track history. Um, so, yeah, just be warned if you're getting them on those platforms. Their, their history with using third parties for launches has not been fantastic. So that's something to uh, to be aware of. The next one is interesting, what characters will be available in Mortal Kombat 1, and it lists everyone that was seen in the trailer, plus Johnny Cage. So Johnny Cage, officially confirmed, competitor, I know you're out there and you're happy, uh, and all you Johnny fans, yeah, you're happy. They kind of confirmed it as well with the Jean-Claude Van Damme for Johnny Cage skin, but hey, double confirmed, so you can rest easy now. Johnny C players rejoice, you have your character. And this is the first hint at a new mechanic in the game, with cameo fighters. Cameo fighters are a unique roster of partner characters to assist during matches, creating expanded gameplay possibilities for players. These characters are chosen separately from the main roster of fighters. This has me a little concerned that we're going back to like the variation route, but like instead of equipping the moves, you equip the characters. 
mean, it's a cool way to do it, but like, I just was hoping to kind of get away from variations. I don't know yet. It's too early to tell what exactly this is. It doesn't really feel like they're fully committing to like a team-based game or team-based fighter like Marvel vs. Capcom or something like that. But they're... I don't know. I'm excited to see this mechanic and play and how. It but I am a little wary of of what it could be because I was hoping to kind of go away from variations if it could. And the last thing that kind of links into my last point here is uh, well, Mortal Kombat 11 will have rollback netcode. There isn't any talk about crossplay, which has me concerned. That was a big thing that they missed out on. That a lot of newer fighting games coming out will have full crossplay. I thought if NRS got to the point where they could implement it, they would have announced it right off the bat, especially with something like this. Because it's just, it's it sucks having the community kind of segregated into the different consoles. If everybody could play online together, you know, that'd be awesome. We saw the beta work between PlayStation and Xbox uh, and Mortal Kombat 11. So hopefully they're working on something, but I'm a little concerned that they haven't announced it yet. But there's still time, it's still early, so... And the pre-order exclusive is Shang Tsung. So, there you have it. Um, yeah, and again, you get early access to it. Uh, I actually didn't read that part this morning when I saw that, so... I have to go back and adjust my time off of work to make sure that I'm here. <laughs> so, anyways, y'all, uh, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty pumped. It's good to finally have some news about this. Again, the cameo fighters, I'm a little, a little wary about until I kind of see what it is. I also feel like some people who have favorites who are like really hoping that they come back are just going to come back as cameo fighters and like not fully fledged out characters, you know, like the Lee Mays and the Serenas of the world. So I don't know. Well, we'll just have to wait. To see. That's the one that I'm kind of like eh, question mark about, you know, but we'll see. One thing I forgot to talk about is the beta. If you pre-order, you get access to the beta that's happening in August. I didn't see any specific dates of what's... Uh, when that's going to happen but they said sometime in august but you have to pre-order in order to be a part of it so that's 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 pretty cool they're doing a beta again i'm stoked these are new game release times man this is like the funnest time just getting excited about stuff you know anyways so anyways i'll probably have more to talk about tomorrow evening uh after we see what uh boone and lansdowne have to say but if you enjoyed this video please leave a like because it really helps me out and subscribe if you haven't because i make new videos almost every single day Hashtag Bonehawks on that stuff, and we'll see all you Bonehawks in the next video. Accept your death.